John, the big controversy was because you were critical of The Rock leaving the WWE yes. and becoming an actor. Yes. At the time, you're a young guy and you're sure. like, you know, hey, what kind of bullshit is this? Why yeah. is The Rock going off and acting and everything? And you were vocal about it. Absolutely. And part of it also is shtick, too, because you're in the WWE. Trying to, and trying to get him back, but it's such the wrong way to do it. So it became a real feud between you and The Rock. Oh, my God, yeah. And, I mean, and, it was real. It wasn't some so bullshit. To me, it was more of like, I'm going to jab this guy because I, I have nothing to lose. I have all the leverage. Right. I'm there every day, and I love being there every day, and nothing is really pulling me away from being there. But were you hurt that The Rock left? In other words, were you like, hey, he shouldn't do that. you got to respect no, the WWE. No, no. Uh, I guess my angle came from the fact that he was openly saying, like, I love the WWE. And I'm like, man, if you love it, why aren't you here? Right. And what a <laughs> stupid thing to say, because right. I can sit across from you now and say, I love the WWE, but SmackDown's in two days, and I'm not going to be there. Right. So like I can say that and I was it was just an ignorant it was in my ignorant perspective and I'm I'm so sorry because he had a lot to lose. Right. Here he's putting his word on the line saying I had to leave this thing. I love it. It's ingrained in my family. I fucking love this. But I'm just doing other shit right now. Well, now you understand it of because course. you're doing other shit. And, 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 and now I have to eat a bunch of shit and say like fuck, I was wrong and I'm sorry. I love that you say you were wrong and you're sorry. Did you ever call him up? I mean, personally, call him up and say, hey, Dwayne, I'm sorry. Yeah. I made a mistake. Yes. Can you forgive me? And, and if you can, I understand. So not exactly in that order. I jabbed until he actually came back. And that made it worse because now we're in the, the same cage wanting to come out triumphant so we wouldn't talk to each other. There was a lot of stepping over the line of boundaries of what's permissible and trustworthy in the ring and what's not. I violated his trust again by calling him out on some shit that I you know, didn't necessarily ask for his approval. He did the same to me. So we grew farther and farther apart until we actually had to perform here in Miami for WrestleMania. And I kind of knew what was going to happen like a year in advance. But the decision on how the end would be was put up for debate until about two days before WrestleMania. About who would win. About who would win. Right. And this is a very important thing. And I, I think it uh, certainly a lot of, a lot of weight rested on Dwayne's shoulders because he's the one who came back and he didn't, he didn't need to come back right then. He really, he, he's on the way to becoming in his own universe. He doesn't need to grace us with his presence. Right. He's, he's doing okay. Right. So he comes back and he does a lot of dates for us and the buildup is fantastic. We build a thing for a year. Two days before we begin going over what we're supposed to do. Was that remarkably uncomfortable because you have to meet with him privately? For like five minutes. Wow. Because uh, we had buffers and Pat Patterson and Art Anderson and Michael Hayes. We finally have to be in the same space and eventually we do have to work together. And he is so professional and so meticulous and I just wanted to get the match in the ring. Right. So it wasn't like, hey, we got to do this and this and this. Ideas would come and I'd be like, yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do that. So we incorporated every one of his great ideas into the match, even the very end where I get too cocky and ended up losing. And the fact that it was a clean loss and, you know, he had his moment, this wonderful WrestleMania moment. After that, uh, first and foremost, I went to his mom and I said I was sorry and I hope she understood everything that I was doing was just for business. And his mom is an ace. She was, she was amazing. And then I went to him and I always traveled with a, a jug of like pure Tennessee moonshine. And I went to him with a, a mason jar and said, this is kind of a tradition we have on the road now. I just wanted to share this tradition with you, but I hope you understand that everything by the result of what just happened. I didn't put up any reluctance to take the three count. I didn't put up any reluctance to the finish. And I think it was in those 30 minutes that he had a greater understanding of this kid's just a little ignorant. He was trying as hard as he could. He doesn't see the whole picture yet. Are you friends now? Yes. I text him all the time. He'll send me voice messages. He'll send me texts. Like, oh, wow. He's truly in a universe of his own. And every, every inch of success he's ever earned is that word is very important he has earned it yeah and now having to try to tread in some of his wake i see exactly how difficult all that is and i'm not even a hundredth of his level he is just man he's a he's an electric force when he shows up <laughs> 